segment of the show for today. We're talking to Mr. Will Nesby from Tennessee State University, and he's talking about some of the activities associated with the 1890 uh, land-grant institutions of higher education. And of course, let's, uh, uh, Mr. Nesby, uh, see if we can look back at the uh, very, very start of these 1890 institutions and why these institutions are so designated because from what I understand that they're all part of what they call the Morrell Land Grant Act of that particular time. So explain all of that to us and how it happened that these institutions uh, became part of the, the system. Well, I'll tell you as, as briefly and in a nutshell as possible. Prior to uh, 1862, mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, the only people, of course there are always exceptions, mm -hmm. but the only people that were uh, attending formal education, uh, higher education mm -hmm. schools were affluent white males. Mm -hmm. Well, at that time, Abraham Lincoln mm -hmm. decided that he wanted all of the Americans to be exposed to higher education, mm -hmm. to, to, to have the opportunity. So there was a congressman from Vermont, mm -hmm. a congressman, uh, Justin Morrell, M-O-R-R-I-L-L. -L. Mm -hmm. He actually put together the Morrell Act of 1862. Mm -hmm. And all this did was that the, 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 the U.S. government gave each state in the nation land. Mm -hmm. The state was to, t was to take a portion of that land, sell it, and use the proceeds to build a university. Mm -hmm. And all Abraham Lincoln asked was that one of the major fields of study at that university would be agriculture. Mm -hmm. Thus you have the 1862 schools. Mm -hmm. Every state in the Union has an 1862 land-grant mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. In Tennessee, of mm -hmm. course, it's the University of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, after this, the, all these schools were established, by the year 1890, mm -hmm. they all were established, but they were operating on shoestring mm -hmm. budgets. Mm -hmm. So they went back to Morrell and wanted Morrell to amend the, uh, the, the, the act mm -hmm. to see if the states could get monies from the uh, USDA mm -hmm. for operation, you know, to pay their teachers mm -hmm. and what have you. Well, as the case would be, they did amend the, the act, mm -hmm. but they amended, they amended the act with a stipulation. Mm -hmm. They said, if we're going to give you monies to operate, you cannot deny admission to your university on the basis of race. Mm -hmm. Thus, you had uh, 17 southern states mm -hmm. that actually refused to accept mm -hmm. minorities mm -hmm. with their admission. So uh, in order for them to receive the funds, the, they agreed to build a sister school. In other words, if you're not going to allow admission to a certain race of people, mm -hmm. you'll have to build a sister school mm -hmm. in that state. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that time of 17 states, mm -hmm. um, these schools, uh, these states decided to build their sister schools. And um, of course, Tennessee State is the newest of all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a number of schools were uh, established in 1890. Um, Lincoln University uh, mm -hmm. in Missouri, um, 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 the University of Alcorn down in Mississippi, mm -hmm. but Tennessee State's the baby. Tennessee State didn't come along until uh, 1912. Mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact, we're about to celebrate Centen our good. centennial Very good. Yeah, mm -hmm. now. But anyway, to make a long story short, so each state had at least one 1890 school. Of course, mm -hmm. with some southern states you had, I mean, each state had a land-grant school, mm -hmm. but you had the southern states that had actually two. Mm -hmm. uh, um, now, Tuskegee, was actually included mm -hmm. as an 1890, but it is not an 1890 land grant institution. Mm -hmm. Tuskegee was already in existence uh, when the 1890 Act was, um, mm -hmm. you know, when, when it was amended. Mm -hmm. But Tuskegee gets all of the the the, the, the benefits of the mm -hmm. other 18, 1890 mm -hmm. land grant mm -hmm. universities. I didn't know that. Well, good. But but mm -hmm. but they're included. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see where we are now. Uh, uh, Tennessee State University, as I said, was one of the 1890s. From, from, from eight, from, uh, with Tennessee State itself, from 1912 mm -hmm. up until 1988, mm -hmm. this is the way the schools were operated. The mother school was to get funds from the USDA oh, okay. for research and teaching, and they were to give their sister schools their fair share <laughs> of the proceeds, mm -hmm. of the, 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 the research money and what have you. But as the case would be, you know, if, if it, it wasn't distributed fairly. Okay, mm -hmm. so in 1988, the 1890 presidents Mm -hmm. decided that they wanted to get in touch with USDA and they wanted to get some equality here. Mm -hmm. They wanted to see what could be done. So in 1988, there was a symposium held right mm -hmm. here in Nashville, Tennessee mm -hmm. at the convention center downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, this, sympo this symposium was 
it, with the uh, 1890 presidents and USDA officials. And what came, the main thing that came out of that symposium was the establishment of a USDA presence mm -hmm. on each one of these 1890 mm -hmm. land-grant colleges. Thus, they created the position USDA slash 1890 liaison officers. Mm -hmm. So there's one of us on every one of the um, 1890 land-grant colleges. Mm -hmm. So um, Tennessee State University has had three mm -hmm. uh, from, the, from, from uh, 1988 up to now. As a matter of fact, no, they've had four. I take it back because I have been, quote unquote, two of those. Mm -hmm. I actually was the, became the liaison officer at Tennessee State in 1992. And I was there from 92 until 06. Mm -hmm. 06, I retired. Mm -hmm. oh, and uh, I, I, I retired mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Mr. Floyd Hooker mm -hmm. took over that position. But Mr. In, uh, um, March of last year, Mr. Hooker went mm -hmm. back to his agency. He went back to NRCS, and the position was, vac was vacant. USDA called me and asked if I'd be willing to come, come back, out of, to come out of retirement mm -hmm. and come back to this uh, position. Uh, as you know, Tennessee State being my alma mater, and I just love the, mm -hmm. I, I love the entire school, but I'm especially fond of the School mm -hmm. of Agriculture and, uh, at, uh, at that mm -hmm. time in Consumer Sciences. But uh, anyway, I did come back, and I'm there now, and the, uh, the dean of, the, of that school has uh, just made tremendous uh, mm -hmm. leaps and bounds. Dr. Chandra Reddy mm -hmm. is the dean there now, and as a matter of fact, he, he is into his, he, he's about to start his fourth year. Mm -hmm. Since he has been there, the school has changed its name. Mm -hmm. It's no longer the School of Agriculture and Consumer Sciences. Mm -hmm. It's called the College mm -hmm. of Agriculture, Common, mm -hmm. Natural. Mm -hmm. Sciences. Mm -hmm. That's what it's, it, and it includes biology and mm -hmm. chemistry under that department. Mm -hmm. But that's where we are now, and there are a number of programs that have come out of this 1890 mm -hmm. um, symposium. That, 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 mm -hmm. There you go. Thanks for the help mm -hmm. there. As a matter of fact, the liaison, uh, the, the program liaisons mm -hmm. are involved with five mm -hmm. major areas, those areas being of course, there's higher education. Mm -hmm. I, I would like to use that as the last one. Mm -hmm. Are we about done? No, well, okay. no, no, no. Just go. Okay. We'll, we've got about 20 seconds on okay. this segment. Uh -huh. well, well, there are five major areas that, that they deal with. Mm -hmm. They deal with. Um, um, See, I'm drawing a blank. No, but we'll, no, we'll, we'll, we'll start. Right yeah, we'll okay. just, we'll just take a first, well, fast commercial break here. That's, That's just about time. Yeah, and we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 